Good morning. Today is October 15, 2020. My name is Lilia, and in today's options lesson, we're going to look at Intuitive Surgical Ink, ISRG, to see what kind of a trade we can place because this company is reporting earnings today after the closing bell. Before I start today's lesson, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on my face at the bottom of the screen. It is free to subscribe. If you're not already a Patreon member, please consider joining by clicking on the link at the top of this page. Patreon members have access to exclusive members-only videos and the opportunity to ask me questions about trading. And now I present to you our lesson for today. In this lesson, I show you all the steps that I go through before I place an earnings play. When traders are placing trades specifically because of earnings, those trades are called earnings plays. I'm using the trading platform called Thinkorswim, which is part of TD Ameritrade. The first thing I do when I'm placing an earnings play is to look at the options chain that is closest to the earnings announcement date. As mentioned earlier, ISRG is reporting earnings today after the closing bell. So the closest expiration date is the October 16 expiration cycle. These options expire tomorrow. If you come over here all the way on the right hand side, you're going to notice that the options that expire tomorrow have the highest implied volatility. And again, that is because of earnings. Right before the earnings announcements, there is a lot of uncertainty with regard to the company's earnings. Did the company do well or did it not do well? Did it meet the analyst expectations or not? Those are the questions. And obviously most of us don't really know what's going to happen after the earnings are announced. So for that reason, the implied volatility of the stock is inflated. That means options premiums are also inflated. And that's one of the reasons that traders like to do earnings plays because option sellers can take advantage of the inflated premiums and make some pretty good profits in a very short time. I've opened up the October 16 options and the first thing I want to look at is this number right here. MMM stands for Market Maker Move plus or minus $24.75. This number represents the expected move of the stock after earnings. So it's either going to go up around $25 or it's going to go down $25. Again, these are just the expected move. There's no guarantee that the stock is actually going to move $25. This number is derived from the sum of the at the money options. Right now, ISRG is trading at around $746. So if you add up the premiums of the at the money calls and the premiums of the at the money puts, you get approximately $25. This is the expected move. How do these traders decide what the expected move is? Part of it comes from historical data. So analysts and traders look at how much the stock has moved in the past and this is how they come up with all these numbers. Like I said, the stock may or may not move $25 after the earnings are announced today. Because the earnings are coming out after the closing bell, the stock traders are able to continue trading and react to the earnings announcements. Unfortunately for the options traders, our trading day ends at 4 p.m. Eastern today. So even though the stock traders are still trading in the after hours market, we, the options traders, are pretty much at their mercy. 
there's nothing we can do with our trades. With the stock trading at $745, let's do some math and figure out what the prices are on the upside and on the downside. So 745 plus 25 is $770. So on the upper range, we can expect the stock to maybe go to $770. On the downside, we can expect the stock to go down to $720. So between the upper range and the bottom range, we're talking about a $50 spread. Let's take a look at the one-year daily chart of ISRG and see what has happened during previous earnings announcements. Here's one back here, and not a big deal. There was another one back here, small reaction. And here's another one, pretty small reaction, small reaction. So for the most part, it looks like ISRG has gone up after the earnings announcements. Right now, ISRG is already in the overbought region, and it is very close to the all-time high that was set back in September. So we need to take that into consideration. If we are pretty confident that ISRG is going to rise after earnings, then we can simply sell a credit put spread, and we can use one of these strikes for our trade. On the other hand, what if the stock actually drops a little? So wouldn't it be nice if we can make a little extra money if the stock did indeed drop after earnings? That leads us to a broken wing butterfly trade. So let's take a look at both of those trades and see if we can set up something. One thing that I'm noticing right away is the wide bid ask spread. So that's going to make it a little difficult to set up these kinds of trades. And also, the straight prices are $5 wide. So that's another problem. So taking everything into consideration, let's see if we could set up a trade. Another problem with ISRG is the low trading volume of the stock. The trading volume for these options is decent, but it's not great. So some people are playing the game today. So let's start out with a credit put spread. Let's start out by selecting the strike price of our short put. So again, the stock right now is trading at 745 and $25 below that is around $720. Let's take a look at that option. Well, that option has about a 25% chance of being in the money by tomorrow. And for an earnings play, I think this is a little too high. So I am more comfortable with something like the 690 option, going a little out of the money and going outside of the $25 range. So we're going to build this credit put spread one step at a time. This is going to be my short put. So that means I need to buy to open a long put with a lower strike price. This option looks a little bit weird. Zero bid and 215 ask. I don't like these numbers. What about this one? 660. If I can get the mid price of this option and this option, that might work. So let's set that up. Change this from a single to a vertical. And now I'm going to select this one and change the bottom one. Let's see what kinds of numbers we get. So we are selling to open the 690 put and buying to open the 660 put. $30 wide spread. And if we can get the mid price of 92 cents, that equals $92 for one contract. The fastest way to figure out your max potential loss is to take the difference between the two strikes minus the original credit. Difference between the two strikes is $30 minus my credit of $0.97, cents, $29.03 times one contract times 100, $2,903. That is the maximum potential loss on this trade. 
That means if ISRG closes below $660 tomorrow, this trade is going to lose $2,903. So another way to look at this is we are risking $2,903 to make, oops, it just shifted, to make 95 cents. I think that's what I had, or 97. Is that a good trade? Well, that all depends. You are taking on a lot of risk to make a very small profit. However, this trade also has a pretty decent chance of success. According to the statistics, there is about a 7% chance that ISRG may go below 690. But the important number is this one. There's a 2% chance that ISRG is going to go below 660. So remember, in a vertical spread like this, you will lose the maximum amount only if the stock closes below the long strike. And in this case, it's 660. So again, there is a 2% chance that ISRG may close below 660. So that means this trade has a pretty high probability of success. But again, with options trading, nothing is ever guaranteed. If the earnings are bad, there's certainly a chance that ISRG may drop a lot more than $25. So this is one trade that we can consider. And I want to emphasize that this is not a trade recommendation. Do not do this trade unless you are prepared to lose $2,900 because it could happen. I'm basically just showing you some ideas. These are not trade recommendations. Now let's take a look at the second trade idea, which is the broken wing butterfly. And because that trade also has a short put option, we're going to build it one step at a time, kind of the same way. So we are going to start out again with a 690 strike price as our short put. That's our starting point. So we're going to build it and see if we can get a decent credit on the trade. So the first thing I need to do is change this from single to butterfly. And now I'm going to click on this and make the adjustments here. This is a typical butterfly, but what we're doing is something a little bit different. We're actually buying the higher strike, selling the body of the butterfly, and buying another wing on the bottom to protect the body. So in the earlier example, I used 690 as my short put. So I'm gonna bring this wing down back to 660 and see what we get. So this trade gives us a credit of only two cents, which really makes no sense whatsoever. Too small. What if I make this a little bit wider to the 650 and bring this up a little closer to the money, maybe 695? Okay, that looks interesting. I'll get a credit of $1. This trade is a candidate, but again, I want to emphasize this is not a trade recommendation. So let's do a quick analysis of this trade. If you look at this very closely, you're going to notice that it's basically a combination of a debit put spread and a credit put spread. The debit put spread is $5 wide, but the credit put spread is $45 wide. And that's the reason this is called a broken wing butterfly. The width of the spread is different. The middle strike is called the body of the butterfly and is two short puts. There are no naked puts in this trade. Everything is protected. But that doesn't mean you're guaranteed a profit. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how much money we're going to make, how much money we could lose, how we're going to make money, and how we're going to lose money. Because this is a net credit trade, we're going to receive a credit up front of about $102. If ISRG closes above my long strike of $700 tomorrow, then my maximum profit is $102. It's the original credit. But I just want to make this a little bit 
let's make the math a little easier. Let's pretend I'm getting a dollar credit. Okay, so if ISRG closes above $700 tomorrow, my profit is simply the original credit because all of these puts will be out of the money and they will simply expire worthless. If ISRG lands right at 695, which is the body of the butterfly, then my profit will be the original credit of a dollar plus an additional five dollars from this spread. So the profit will be six hundred dollars. If ISRG closes at 650 or below tomorrow, then this trade is actually going to lose a little bit of money. The maximum loss is going to be the difference between these two strikes, which is $45, but then I'm going to be collecting $5 on the debit vertical. So subtract 5, and I also got a dollar credit up front, so subtract 1. So the max loss on this trade would be $39 times the number of contracts times 100. $3,900. So in this trade, we are risking $3,900 to make $600. Is it worth it? I don't know. That depends on you. This trade has a decent probability of success. Again, nothing is ever guaranteed. It is a risky trade because you are risking $3,900. In a broken wing butterfly, the ideal sweet spot is for the stock to land right at your middle strike. In this case, $695. According to the data, there is a 20% chance that ISRG could land right at $695. 20% chance, which is of course acceptable because you don't really want this stock to plunge. It would be ideal if it landed right at 695. But if it goes below 695, then we're going to end up with all kinds of other problems. So this concludes my analysis of the two ISRG earnings plays. Thank you for watching.